Okay. okay, so here we are. <laughs> so we have um, the preparation for our stock. So all we've done Excuse is we've me. really rough chopped the parsley root, the carrots, the celeriac and the leeks. Um, and just chopping them slightly just to allow the flavor to come out. And then we're going to add what, Joanna? We're going to add salt. Um, how many liters of water we have that there? That is about a liter. So we need uh -huh. three liters apparently. Oh, right. Okay. That's a lot, right. isn't it? That's a lot. Do we have to make that much? We don't. No, we don't. We, we might... We... Basically, we'll improvise. <laughs> <laughs> As you do in the kitchen. Yes. This is not... Um, maybe if you're baking, you have to do... Okay, baking is it's a different. precise science. Yeah. Yes. But cooking... It's an experiment. It's a huge, big experiment. And this is what we are going to do. And in the end, you just have to make it work for yourself. Exactly. And if it doesn't taste good, I will blame it on Joanna. Yes. <laughs> so, da -da -da. Da -da. we have the final stages of Joanna's sauerkraut soup. Without the sauerkraut. Without the sauerkraut. Um, so, Joanna, what's happening now? So, we are adding the jar of sauerkraut. <coughs> just the whole jar. 500 grams, but remember that was for the big one. So let's add, let's add 600, uh, this is 650. Let's add half. Oh, by the way, we need to, we need to chop that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let's chop that. So the sauerkraut is chopped and now, this In goes there. here and done. And that's it. That's it. Well, then we're going to eat it. Oof. The last stage of the cooking is just to heat it up and then eat it. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. <laughs> so we've got our sauerkraut soup. We do. Joanna has presented us with a huge bowl. <laughs> huge bowl. <laughs> Sorry. This is, what we, this is the only thing we're having. So normally you would have soup like that for starter mm. maybe not so big <laughs> and maybe maybe less cabbage as well <laughs> we ended up adding a lot and then you would have a main with it okay yeah after so yeah, yeah try it let's try it and tell me what you think okay mm. yeah it's much more sour that's good mm. Mm. so what we did it was my mistake, we just chatted and forgot about it. Oops. So we boiled it and I think we're not supposed to do it. Yeah. So So basically you add the sauerkraut, right? You chop the sauerkraut and you add it to the hot soup. Um, and we think Sheet that you heat it really, really gently, but don't boil it. And accidentally we boiled it because we were just chatting away about it. Nonsense. So what we did, we added a little bit more sauerkraut, mm. which was uh, not boiled mm -hmm. to make, to bring up the flavor. And yeah. it kind of worked. Yeah. So what, what do you think? Because you never had something like that before. You had sauerkraut, but you never yeah. had a soup. So what's really nice about this is, as you say, it's got this like lovely sour flavor, which makes it feel kind of really fresh and um, and zingy. It's got a lot of interest. And because and you've got the broth underneath it, which is much sort of earthier flavor, it's a nice balance, mm -hmm. I think. So it keeps interesting. So you could have with it, it's a vegetarian option, but you could have ribs, you could have yeah. sausage, you could have bacon. So mm -hmm. it would be obviously heavier and thicker and right. richer mm -hmm. so that th those are the options mm -hmm. and the interesting thing we 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 were trying to find out the origin of this soup mm. the history behind it and we found um, a nice article about um, Roman Empire mm -hmm. and a book which uh, which is quite ancient book and it tells about this soup that yeah. comes from Rome. So yeah. that was uh, a surprise for me. <laughs> um, it's not exactly with the sauerkraut, but it's a cabbage soup uh, and potatoes as well and carrots. Mm. But it would be interesting. Yeah, so we were talking about this this sour flavor in this soup as being something which is particularly Polish. Like there's a lot of this flavor mm. in Polish foods. So perhaps, you know, the Roman tradition was to make um, a soup with these vegetables in, but as it came into Poland, perhaps they added their own flavor to it yeah. by using sauerkraut and bringing the Maybe. sourness into it. Or someone just, they didn't have any fresh veg and this and is what they, they had have. and they yeah. want, were feeling like having something warm and mm. heated up and... I really like it. Soup. Do you like it? I mean, I'm used to <laughs> that. So for me, is it's it nothing. It, is it as it should be? 
Um, I think it's supposed to be more sour, but I think it's, this okay. is our mistake. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's very nice. And we are going to have it with olive oil. And I think I'm oh, going to yeah. have more pepper. Okay. Yeah, we're going to add a bit of... Um, well, you know, this, this is Roman. This is a Roman influence also, having olive oil. So we're taking it back to its roots. Oh, that's a lot of pepper. Right. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching us. Yes. We hope it's maybe that you learned something. It was interesting for you. We learned something. We did. We, I definitely learned a lot from Charlotte. Uh, and I, I, and I learned what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we are planning to record something once for a while. Mm. And yeah. basically to learn to learn some new things about food. Both of us know, know a bit already. Mm -hmm. We want to learn some more. And hopefully this will help you guys as well. Mm. And if there's anything you would like to find out, just let us know. Yeah, yeah definitely. Cool. Thank you.